Atomic Nucleus, Wikipedia article audio The atomic nucleus is the small, dense region consisting of protons and neutrons at the center of an atom, discovered in 1911 by Ernest Rutherford based on the 1909 Geysera Euro Marsden Gold Foil Experiment. After the discovery of the neutron in 1932, models for a nucleus composed of protons and neutrons were quickly developed by Dmitry Ivanenko and Werner Heisenberg. Almost all of the mass of an atom is located in the nucleus, with a very small contribution from the electron cloud. Protons and neutrons are bound together to form a nucleus by the nuclear force. The diameter of the nucleus is in the range of 698517500000000000000 a trademark 1.75 fm for hydrogen to about 698615000000000000000 a trademark 15 fm for the heaviest atoms, such as uranium. These dimensions are much smaller than the diameter of the atom itself, by a factor of about 23,000 to about 145,000. Introduction History The branch of physics concerned with the study and understanding of the atomic nucleus, including its composition and the forces which bind it together, is called nuclear physics. The nucleus was discovered in 1911, as a result of Ernest Rutherford's efforts to test Thompson's plum pudding model of the atom. The electron had already been discovered earlier by J.J. Thompson himself. Knowing that atoms are electrically neutral, Thompson postulated that there must be a positive charge as well. In his plum pudding model, Thomson suggested that an atom consisted of negative electrons randomly scattered within a sphere of positive charge. Ernest Rutherford later devised an experiment with his research partner Hans Geiger and with help of Ernest Marsden, that involved the deflection of alpha particles directed at a thin sheet of metal foil. He reasoned that if Thomson's model were correct, the positively charged alpha particles would easily pass through the foil with very little deviation in their paths, as the foil should act as electrically neutral if the negative and positive charges are so intimately mixed as to make it appear neutral. To his surprise, many of the particles were deflected at very large angles. Because the mass of an alpha particle is about 8,000 times that of an electron, it became apparent that a very strong force must be present if it could deflect the massive and fast-moving alpha particles. He realized that the plum pudding model could not be accurate and that the deflections of the alpha particles could only be explained if the positive and negative charges were separated from each other and that the mass of the atom was a concentrated point of positive charge. This justified the idea of a nuclear atom with a dense center of positive charge and mass. The term nucleus is from the Latin word nucleus, a diminutive of nux, meaning the kernel inside a watery type of fruit. In 1844, Michael Faraday used the term to refer to the central point of an atom. The modern atomic meaning was proposed by Ernest Rutherford in 1912. The adoption of the term nucleus to atomic theory, however, was not immediate. In 1916, for example, Gilbert N. Lewis stated, in his famous article The Atom and the Molecule, that the atom is composed of the kernel and an outer atom or shell. The nucleus of an atom consists of neutrons and protons, which in turn are the manifestation of more elementary particles, called quarks, that are held in association by the nuclear strong force in certain stable combinations of hadrons, called baryons. 
the nuclear strong force extends far enough from each baryon so as to bind the neutrons and protons together against the repulsive electrical force between the positively charged protons. The nuclear strong force has a very short range, and essentially drops to zero just beyond the edge of the nucleus. The collective action of the positively charged nucleus is to hold the electrically negative charged electrons in their orbits about the nucleus. The collection of negatively charged electrons orbiting the nucleus display an affinity for certain configurations and numbers of electrons that make their orbits stable. Which chemical element an atom represents is determined by the number of protons in the nucleus the neutral atom will have an equal number of electrons orbiting that nucleus. Individual chemical elements can create more stable electron configurations by combining to share their electrons. It is that sharing of electrons to create stable electronic orbits about the nucleus that appears to us as the chemistry of our macro world. Protons define the entire charge of a nucleus and hence its chemical identity. Neutrons are electrically neutral, but contribute to the mass of a nucleus to nearly the same extent as the protons. Neutrons can explain the phenomenon of isotopes The main role of neutrons is to reduce electrostatic repulsion inside the nucleus. Etymology Protons and neutrons are fermions with different values of the strong isospin quantum number, so two protons and two neutrons can share the same space wave function since they are not identical quantum entities. They are sometimes viewed as two different quantum states of the same particle, the nucleon. Two fermions, such as two protons, or two neutrons, or a proton and neutron can exhibit bosonic behavior when they become loosely bound in pairs, which have integral spin. In the rare case of a hypernucleus, a third baryon called a hyperon, containing one or more strange quarks and slash or other unusual quark, can also share the wave function. However, this type of nucleus is extremely unstable and not found on Earth except in high-energy physics experiments. Nuclear Makeup The neutron has a positively charged core of radius A per thousand 0.3 fm surrounded by a compensating negative charge of radius between 0.3 fm and 2 fm. The proton has an approximately exponentially decaying positive charge distribution with a mean square radius of about 0.8 fm. Nuclei can be spherical, rugby ball shaped, discus shaped, triaxial, or pear shaped. Nuclei are bound together by the residual strong force. The residual strong force is a minor residuum of the strong interaction which binds quarks together to form protons and neutrons. This force is much weaker between neutrons and protons because it is mostly neutralized within them, in the same way that electromagnetic forces between neutral atoms are much weaker than the electromagnetic forces that hold the parts of the atoms together internally. Composition and Shape the nuclear force is highly attractive at the distance of typical nucleon separation, and this overwhelms the repulsion between protons due to the electromagnetic force, thus allowing nuclei to exist. However, the residual strong force has a limited range because it decays quickly with distance, thus only nuclei smaller than a certain size can be completely stable. The largest known completely stable nucleus is LEAD-208 which contains a total of 208 nucleons. Nuclei larger than this maximum are unstable and tend to be increasingly short-lived with larger numbers of nucleons. However, bismuth-209 is also stable to beta decay and has the longest half-life to alpha decay of any known isotope estimated at a billion times longer than the age of the universe. Forces 
the residual strong force is effective over a very short range, roughly one or two nucleon diameters and causes an attraction between any pair of nucleons. For example, between protons and neutrons to form deuteron, and also between protons and protons and neutrons and neutrons. Halo nuclei and strong force range limits The effective absolute limit of the range of the strong force is represented by halo nuclei such as lithium-11 or boron-14, in which dineutrons, or other collections of neutrons, orbit at distances of about 698610000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
which renders perturbative techniques unusable, making it difficult to construct an accurate QCD-derived model of the forces between nucleons. Current approaches are limited to either phenomenological models such as the argon V18 potential or chiral effective field theory, even if the nuclear force is well constrained, a significant amount of computational power is required to accurately compute the properties of nuclei ab initio. Developments in many body theory have made this possible for many low mass and relatively stable nuclei but further improvements in both computational power and mathematical approaches are required before heavy nuclei or highly unstable nuclei can be tackled. Early models of the nucleus viewed the nucleus as a rotating liquid drop. In this model, the trade-off of long-range electromagnetic forces and relatively short-range nuclear forces, together cause behavior which resembled surface tension forces in liquid drops of different sizes. This formula is successful at explaining many important phenomena of nuclei, such as their changing amounts of binding energy as their size and composition changes, but it does not explain the special stability which occurs when nuclei have special magic numbers of protons or neutrons. The terms in the semi-empirical mass formula, which can be used to approximate the binding energy of many nuclei, are considered as the sum of five types of energies. Then the picture of a nucleus as a drop of incompressible liquid roughly accounts for the observed variation of binding energy of the nucleus. Volume energy when an assembly of nucleons of the same size is packed together into the smallest volume, each interior nucleon has a certain number of other nucleons in contact with it. So, this nuclear energy is proportional to the volume. Consistency between models Surface energy a nucleon at the surface of a nucleus interacts with fewer other nucleons than one in the interior of the nucleus and hence its binding energy is less. This surface energy term takes that into account and is therefore negative and is proportional to the surface area. Coulomb energy the electric repulsion between each pair of protons in a nucleus contributes toward decreasing its binding energy. Asymmetry energy An energy associated with the Pauli exclusion principle. Were it not for the Coulomb energy, the most stable form of nuclear matter would have the same number of neutrons as protons, since unequal numbers of neutrons and protons imply filling higher energy levels for one type of particle, while leaving lower energy levels vacant for the other type. Pairing energy an energy which is a correction term that arises from the tendency of proton pairs and neutron pairs to occur. An even number of particles is more stable than an odd number. A number of models for the nucleus have also been proposed in which nucleons occupy orbitals, much like the atomic orbitals in atomic physics theory. These wave models imagine nucleons to be either sizeless point particles in potential wells, or else probability waves as in the optical model, frictionlessly orbiting at high speed in potential wells. In the above models, the nucleons may occupy orbitals in pairs, due to being fermions, which allows explanation of even slash odd Z and N effects well known from experiments. The exact nature and capacity of nuclear shells differs from those of electrons in atomic orbitals, primarily because the potential well in which the nucleons move is quite different from the central electromagnetic potential well which binds electrons in atoms. Some resemblance to atomic orbital models may be seen in a small atomic nucleus like that of helium-4 in which the two protons and two neutrons separately occupy one's orbitals analogous to the one's orbital for the two electrons in the helium atom, and achieve unusual stability for the same reason. 
nuclei with five nucleons are all extremely unstable and short-lived, yet, helium-3, with three nucleons, is very stable even with lack of a closed one's orbital shell. Another nucleus with three nucleons, the triton hydrogen-3 is unstable and will decay into helium-3 when isolated. Weak nuclear stability with two nucleons in the one's orbital is found in the deuteron hydrogen-2, with only one nucleon in each of the proton and neutron potential wells. While each nucleon is a fermion, the deuteron is a boson and thus does not follow Pauli exclusion for close packing within shells. Lithium-6 with six nucleons is highly stable without a closed second 1p shell orbital. For light nuclei with total nucleon numbers 1 to 6 only those with 5 do not show some evidence of stability. Observations of beta stability of light nuclei outside closed shells indicate that nuclear stability is much more complex than simple closure of shell orbitals with magic numbers of protons and neutrons. For larger nuclei the shells occupied by nucleons begin to differ significantly from electron shells, but nevertheless, present nuclear theory does predict the magic numbers of filled nuclear shells for both protons and neutrons. The closure of the stable shells predicts unusually stable configurations, analogous to the noble group of nearly inert gases in chemistry. An example is the stability of the closed shell of 50 protons, which allows tin to have 10 stable isotopes, more than any other element. Similarly, the distance from shell closure explains the unusual instability of isotopes which have far from stable numbers of these particles, such as the radioactive elements 43 and 61 each of which is preceded and followed by 17 or more stable elements. There are however problems with the shell model when an attempt is made to account for nuclear properties well away from closed shells. This has led to complex post hoc distortions of the shape of the potential well to fit experimental data but the question remains whether these mathematical manipulations actually correspond to the spatial deformations in real nuclei. Problems with the shell model have led some to propose realistic two-body and three-body nuclear force effects involving nucleon clusters and then build the nucleus on this basis. Two such cluster models are the close-packed Sferin model of Linus Pauling and the 2D Ising model of McGregor. As with the case of superfluid liquid helium, atomic nuclei are an example of a state in which both ordinary particle physical rules for volume and non-intuitive quantum mechanical rules for a wave-like nature apply. In superfluid helium, the helium atoms have volume, and essentially touch each other, yet at the same time exhibit strange bulk properties consistent with a Bose-Euro-Einstein condensation. The nucleons in atomic nuclei also exhibit a wave-like nature and lack standard fluid properties, such as friction. For nuclei made of hadrons which are fermions, Bose-Einstein condensation does not occur, yet nevertheless, Many nuclear properties can only be explained similarly by a combination of properties of particles with volume, in addition to the frictionless motion characteristic of the wave-like behavior of objects trapped in Erwin-Schrödinger's quantum orbitals.